Are you in need of FIFA 22 coins to improve your squad? Look no further than u7buy.com, offering some of the cheapest coins on the market, whilst being one of the safest and the most reliable websites around in the market today. Make sure as well, if you do go to the website, you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a discount. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys, Viper here, and welcome back to another player review on the channel. Today, EA dropped the mini release for Fup Birthday Team 2, and in that Team 2 mini release, we got Jaden Sancho, Anti Rebic and Comrade Lehner, or Lehmer, I should say, from RB Leipzig. Obviously, cards look great. Not too much for a fan of Rebic, but Comrade Lehmer looks brilliant, and so does Jaden Sancho. Now, as you can see, we've got a left wing in here and a right wing in here. The left wing and the right wing are very, very similar, um, for reasons I'll show you in a moment. Now, I love Jaden Sancho in real life, he's played so well recently. And his card looks brilliant here. I'm so glad they give him a good upgrade. And the upgrade is really nice. He's very expensive currently at 1.2 million. But I am recording this only an hour after he's came out. So his price will probably drop down to about a million coins. But as I said, this card is nutty good. The 5 star, 5 star, of course. He is five, uh, five foot eleven. High medium work rates at 93 pace, 95 dribbling, 86 shooting, 87 passing and 71 physical. And... Another thing to add to this card, he links to so many great players on the game. Uh, Rashford, Ronaldo, uh, Pogba, Bruno, uh, and obviously being English as well, you can link to that Harry Kane, for example. He's got lots of good links, so I'm really excited to use him. Now, let's look at the traits real quick. He has the best trait on the game, which is the finesse shot trait. Very excited to use him with that. Um, we're also going to be playing him as a middle cam in the 4 one two narrow. I do think, looking at his base card stats, that that's going to be his best position. I haven't actually seen the in-games yet, so I'm very interested to see where they did boost him and how big a boost he got to his shot power. Because if his shot power is still low, that's going to be something we're going to have to boost with the chemistry style. So, let's have a look at his attributes. Wow. So, he's got 97 acceleration with 90 sprint speed. He's got 92 attack position with 92 finishing. 82 shot power, so we're going to have to boost that somehow. 80 long shots with 90 volleys and 70 penalties. Let's not get into it. 92 vision. 87 crossing, uh, he's got 92 short pass with 76 long pass and 90 curve. Boosted up to 99 due to the fact he's got the finesse shot trait. His agility and balance is 94 and sorry, 95 and 94 respectively. His reactions are at 90, ball control at 94, dribbling at 96. And then his composure is at 90. He's also got 88 stamina with 73 strength, which is not bad. And as I look at the card... You really do want to do something to his uh, passing because that long pass is a bit low. But I honestly think a Hawk would be a great chemistry style for him to really boost up that shot power. I believe Hawk does uh, long shots as well. Let's apply a Hawk and see what we think. Um, a Dead Eye as well could be a good chemistry style for him. But I do think that is the best. 99 acceleration with 95 sprint speed is going to go to like 97 pace there overall. 97 attack positioning, and he's got 97 finishing with 92 shot power. That's very important that you boost that. 90 long shots, and then he's got 78 strength with 66 jumping, which is pointless. Um, but I do think the Hawk is really good. Obviously, boosts that shot power by a lot. The issue with Neymar's gold card in every FIFA is his shot power is too low, and that's something that you have to boost, and that is why we're having to boost this with Sancho as well. Not like it doesn't give a good upgrade in the right areas as well. You get that nice little strength upgrade. You get that big upgrade to the, the, the shooting generally. And the pace upgrade is really nice too. I think this card has potential to be one of the best cards on the game. The 5 star, 5 star. I believe he's got a really good body type in game. He's got the finesse shot trait. His agility and balance is essentially maxed out. His dribbling is insane. What I do want to quickly do though, is I want to compare these two. Obviously, mind the, uh, the reds there. So... Sancho's better pace-wise. He's better finishing-wise. Um, he has two more shot power already than Neymar. But uh, the long shots are worse. Then the vision is better on Sancho. Short pass is better on Sancho. Long pass is better on Neymar. And then basically everywhere Sancho's better dribbling-wise. Apart from composure and uh, ball control. And obviously there's a big strength upgrade there as well in comparison to Neymar. Which is going to be really nice. We're going to play him as a central cam in the 4 one 2 one arrow. So let's get into a game and see how we get on with the boy. All right, guys. Into the first game we go with Jaden. I'm just hoping he's good, man. Because he's, he he is so good in real life, man. Oh, I love him. He's my favorite United player currently. Um, 
and it's really, really nice to see him performing well. And obviously, this card is going to remain expensive. Um, it's just a better version of Neymar. Looking at the base card stats and, you know, the five-star, five-star. He's got better attributes basically everywhere. And, yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of a... Kind of exciting to see Sancho get given a card like this because he is just unbelievable. He's got that nice body type. Wow, guys. Oh my god. Oh my days. Nah. I'm dreaming. Boys, he feels unbelievable on the ball. No, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm being dead serious. I need to get the ball to him again. I, I, no chance is that how he actually feels on the ball. Oh my god, guys. He is... Oof. I don't want to get carried away, man. I always say that. He feels redonkulous. Oh, this guy's actually decent. Did he just do a stop cancel there? Into Kaka. Into Neymar. So we've actually got Neymar and Sancho in the same team here. Oh, guys. No way. EA Sports FIFA have just given us one of the best cards on the game. This promo has actually been brilliant in Team 2. Guys. Oh, my God. Oh, man. I'm going to have to get him on my main account. I'm going to have to. That is some of the silkiest dribbling I've ever seen. He doesn't feel strong. He feels very like Neymar in that regard. Oh, okay. There was a bit of strength there. Now, I'm going to try Finesse with him here. Okay. I, 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 I don't know what to say, guys. I, I fully, 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 fully don't know what to say. You can tell straight away when a card feels insane. And I haven't felt this on a card this year. And I, you know, one of my favourite cards this year was that Avia. And he felt insane on the ball. He did not feel this good on the ball. This, this is levels. Um... I've used Team of the Year Messi quite a lot um, on co-op with Nep. He didn't... Oh, my Lord. Did, did, this... Did, no, 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 no. You are joking me. He don't, I've, got, I've got to say, the, the one thing straight away that, that, that I can feel is he doesn't feel super-duper fast. And do you know what that probably is? Why not catch that, pal? That's probably due to the fact his dribbling is so high. He's got the most insane sprint boost, though. This car's a joke. Like, actually. If you can hit, hit, that's the thing with his goal card that I really liked at the start of the game. Was His finesse shots were really, really good. Um, and obviously, we've already scored one with him here. He just feels like he, he can do so much on the ball. Now, we need to try his passing out. It's not worth that, but fair enough. We might have just found an absolutely ridiculous card here, guys. He feels so silky. Nice one, Loafer there. In there, in there. Scoop turn, bang. He's brilliant, guys. He is absolutely brilliant. This guy's going to leave. Let's get into another game. All right, guys, getting into game number two. We just played somebody that left straight away. So there's an extra game on uh, Sancho that doesn't count. Just so you're aware when we get to the end of the review. But let me tell you something. That is the best 20, 30 minutes of gameplay I've ever had from a, from X player since I started doing player reviews. Um, I can't explain what it is with his dribbling. I know it's like super duper high and it makes sense, right? He is just stupid. Like, he's actually just stupid. Oh, my word. Oh, Jaden. Oh, guys, I need him. We all need this card in our life. Now, his shooting is, is a bit weak at 86, right? But that was why the Hawk was so paramount to us getting a lot out of this card. I almost just burped live there. That would have been bad. Sorry if you ever hear me sniffle as well, guys. I've got a cold right now. Thank God it isn't COVID, but um, yeah, apologies for that. And I think what I'm going to start doing as well, guys, um, is I'm going to start reviewing a lot more cards. Um, I love I love the content I do. I love Jaden Sancho as well. I actually love Jaden Sancho. I actually love this card. 
Guys, I've, I haven't streamed recently, but get over to my Twitch tomorrow. We're going to be live around 8pm tomorrow night. And we are going to be grinding whatever stuff comes out tomorrow. I, I, I need this card on my account. Um, this, this is genuinely like the best card I've reviewed. In, 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 currently in this time frame that we've had. He's in again. Oh my god. Wow. He's got a score out of mind. But I kind of let it go too, too uh, short there. Nice from Cantona. Jaden is there. Oh no. I tried to do an Alaska there. What are you doing a heel to heel for? Easy does it. Nice from Mark. Nice good football. Oh, guys, he feels so good on the ball. Like he he feels like the like top tier on the ball. Like like no other card I've used this year. I've used Team Ian Messi. I think I already said that. I've used uh, Neymar extensively. I've used Mbappe for a while. His Team of the Year. Um, I can categorically tell you guys that this is the best performing card in terms of dribbling I've I've used this year. Hundred percent. It's taken me 45 in-game minutes to figure that out. Or maybe a bit less, actually. <clears throat> he just does skill moves so quick, so fluidly. This is the this is one of the cleanest cards I've ever used, man. Oh, what is that for a pass? Like in, in recent memory, I can't think of many cards at, at this, this, this dribbling level. Now, if you guys know as well, what I always say is, and I do stand by this, Players that uh, have five-star skills get given... Yeah, that's he can't really find them passes, unfortunately. Players that get given five-star skills have hidden, like, dribbling boosts. 100%. I want to try another finesse with him. Oh, my Lord. Guys, this, this, this card can't exist. Here we go, finesse shot time. Jaden, on the edge. Jaden, Sancho, off the bar. Unlucky, unlucky. Now, th th this guy has sick finesse shots as well. Like, I was saying at the, the start of this this FIFA, Sancho had one of the best finesses on the game. I don't know why that was. Um, he, his finesses were insane. I am so excited that they released this card, man. He's having an absolute field day. Look at him. Mine's that. Oh, okay. Now, I've been doing a lot of solo runs with him. I can't really say I've enjoyed his, uh, his free balls very much. But because I do so many skills, I find so much use in this card, you know. He's in again. Finish it. Finishing is a little bit dodgy. It's, it's not bad. Um, obviously, I green a lot of my shots anyway, so the finishing kind of doesn't matter to me. Nice, Rudiger. Has to be nice again. Oh, my God. What an absolutely ridiculous goal that would have been. Nice. Good pass, Eric. Here goes Jaden again. He does... He, do you know what? When he gets up to speed, he does feel rapid. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, my God. His finesse shots are like lasers. This guy's left. Let's get into another game. All right, guys. Game number three with Sancho. This guy's got a sick team. Who's that right back? I don't know who that right back is, but it's a good team. Uh, he's got Albamiang, he's got Ozil. Probably uh probably an Arsenal fan with that team. I'm not too sure. Uh De Vroy off Kem as well. I didn't even clock that. Umtiti is wow, what a strange team. Anyway, into the game we go. This has been the most enjoyable review I've done all year. Um you know, just behind uh Avia. Now I, I don't know if you guys are, you know, doing the eighty seven times eighty six times seven. But I would highly recommend you go for Avia instead. If you can get him in a team and get these kind of players, this is probably the the best promo we've had in terms of like meta cards. Um, that's what it's there for. Sancho's in. Jaden. Oh yes, Jaden. What a goal that is, man. Th th this is so much fun. Credit to EA. Now I know this card's going to remain expensive, and do you know what? Honestly, 
justifiably so. We are looking at a card here that that is is basically like a Neymar in form, um, at, and probably better. Neymar's dribbling isn't as good as as Sancho's, hundred percent. I think Sancho's got the best dribbling I've used on this game, actually. And I haven't even boosted it with a chemist style, you know. Look at that sprint boost. Oh, I've cancelled it. Nice, that's good defending from him. Oh, he's trying to I'm trying to get the finesse shot. There it is. There it is! Sancho again! What a goal! Oh my god! Oh man, I need this card, guys. We all need this card in our life. What an absolutely brilliant, brilliant card this is. Oh my god. Oh, I'm just taking the mick. Oh, what a goal that is as well. Sancho of the assist there. We're twelve we're three nil up in twelve minutes. Or thirteen minutes, actually. He's just a beast, guys. He's he is just genuinely an absolute joke, this card is. Easy does it. Easy does it. We're fine. Move the keeps. Very nice. Good out ball there. Eusebio win that. Never mind. Sancho's there. I really do like this card, guys. I, I do think this could be one of the best cards on the game. Oh, man. He just shouldn't be allowed. <sighs> Look at him. showing a bit of aggression there, too. Please score that. No, 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 no. I can't. I can't. I just, I just have no words to just describe this, this caliber of card. Oh my god! I think this guy's done anyway. So, is he done? No, he's not. Okay, let's go. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Jaden Sancho, man. Finally, yeah, I've given him a card. And I know his team of the seasons have been good, but that 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 three star weak foot really does let him down. I think his team of the season in FIFA 20 got given a four-star weak foot. And that card was genuinely... Even maybe maybe his last last card, but the five-star, five-star just takes him up to a different level. Oh, my word. What an awful touch that is, Neymar. Oh, I've got so lucky. I've got so lucky. All right, guys. So, review done on Jadon Sancho. I really hope you guys watch the gameplay here because it is absolutely absurd how good this card is. Um, I haven't experienced something like that other than maybe Avia, who we've done a review on today also, since I started doing player reviews on this game. Uh, he is everything that I love on FIFA. Um, he's just Neymar, just on steroids. Uh, I, I, that's the only way I can describe him. Another great thing that this card has that Neymar doesn't is the finesse shot trait. And if you watch the gameplay, you will see how many finesse shots we scored with him and how good his finesse shots are. I am almost lost for words. Uh, there's one game in there as well that uh, the guy left not long after it kicked off. And every game he played was a rage quit, which is insane and says how good this card is. Um, his passing's brilliant. His shooting's brilliant. His dribbling's insane. His pace is really good. And that physical is a really nice upgrade to the kind of card that he is. I am absolutely flabbergasted. Let's um, let's just talk about the card for a minute. Uh, finesse shots are insane. Um, if you can green time everything, you'll absolutely love this card. Um, if you're a skill skiller, you'll absolutely love this card. If you play and you like five star weak foots, you'll absolutely love this card. Uh, this this guy is one of, if not the best card I've used on this game this year. I love a Via, and I think the fuck birthday promo is really showing how good some cards are and how meta these five star five star cards are um and he is no different uh i'm i'm just i don't know the only thing this card can't do is uh the over the top three balls he can still do them maybe i don't know five times out of ten um but they aren't very consistent um his short passing is brilliant and his, his passing generally is really good just don't try the over the tops with him his dribbling is genuinely the best i've used on the game better than team of the MSCs. Better than Team of the Year and Bappe. Honestly, insane here. Um, I just don't really know what to say. He's absolutely worth that price. Uh, if he stays over a million coins, it's fully justified. He probably won't. But if you can pick this card up, I promise you, you'll love him. Especially if you do skill moves or you're good at finesse shots. Lights out card. 
Um, can play anywhere across the front line. I would definitely recommend him as a middle cam, though. But you can play Ram, Lamb, or Striker if you really want him to. I wouldn't play him as a one striker, though. Make sure you play him as like a second striker. Let's go over the stats now and rate them out of 10. Pace. He takes a little bit of time to get going, which is strange because he's got good acceleration. But once he does get going, he is absolutely ludicrously fast. I'm going to rate this an 8.5 eight, eight out of 10. He wasn't the quickest, um, but he was super duper fast. He was zooming. But it did take like a few seconds for him to really get going. His sprint boost was brilliant as well. Obviously, he has such high agility and balance, so his sprint boost is going to be good. His shooting, I'm going to rate a 9 out of 10. I was thinking of giving a 9.5, but I don't think it's really justified. Um, he does have an issue sometimes with getting the power on his shots, even still at 92. But if you can you know, deal with that and make sure you're green in most of your shots... He is lights out, very lethal here. Um, if finesse shots are genuinely insane on the Messi's level. Um, the only other card I can really say that about, um, the finesse shot trait on him as well. And he does shoot the ball like it's Messi. Um, and being able to do that on both feet as well is very, very good and makes him very unpredictable. And that is a very nice thing about him. Obviously, getting the three-star to five-star upgrade on his weak foot is massive and really has helped him become this complete forward player. Um, passing... I'm going to give an 8.5 out of 10. I would give it higher, but his over-the-top balls just don't work um, all of the time, which is a bit disappointing. But if you just want to play it short with him, you know, if you want to do the intricate passes between the cam, who is Sancho, and then your two strikers, it's incredible. Um, double X's, just one twos with him. He's very, very good here because of his dribbling also. Um, he takes the ball so nicely, very cleanly. Stickiest dribbling I've used on the game. Some of the quickest skill moves I've used on the game. Um, absolutely insane. His dribbling, I'm going to give a 9.5 out of 10. I would give it a 10 out of 10, but nobody's exactly perfect. This is the best thing about this card, though. And obviously, having the 5-star skills also, if you have been following me for a while, you'll know that I think players that do have 5-star skills get hidden boosts to dribbling. It makes them feel cleaner on the ball and stickier. He's so good here. And that physical is nice to have. I'm going to give that a 7 out of 10 because I really do think that physical upgrade he's had does add a big element to him that Neymar doesn't have. Um, you know, Neymar is very weak, um, poor body type. Sancho has Neymar's body type, but with that strength increase, he is able to somewhat tussle in the midfield and offer a bit of a physical presence, which is really, really nice to have and definitely offers something different in game for this kind of card. Honestly, guys, probably up there, probably top three review I've done this year. Um, absolutely loved him. So good in game. Go and get him if you can afford him. Brilliant, brilliant. Nine and a half out of ten for me. I think he's too good. I honestly think he's too good. Um, so, so overpowered. Especially if you can do the finesse shots or you're good at skill moves. Or you like the unpredictability of having a five-star weak foot. All of them things there are things that I like doing. And that makes him one of the best cards on the game, in my opinion. But guys, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell so you don't miss a player review. But guys, that's going to be it for me for now. So take care.